Welcome everybody to our first design project on YouTube. First of all, my name is Trevor. Caleb, go ahead and put your hands out so everybody sees your hands. You hear the loud bangs, that's because Caleb likes to pick things up. He's got a screwdriver set that he's sitting there playing with. Okay, so what we have in front of us is basically an adapted electrical go-kart slash wheelchair for a cute little girl who uh, needs a, a way to be able to get around. So she does have a normal wheelchair, but this one's supposed to be a little bit more useful for her by herself. Some of the advantages for the, her is that she's able to get up onto here. My guess is it's about an inch and a half to two inches tall right here. She's able to crawl up into this thing by herself and use it all by herself. Uh, there's a little power switch here and a joystick to be able to control it. And then it's using a nice little bumble. If you aren't familiar with the bumble, most parents are. They're magical things. So basically babies would sit in here and when they're little kids and their heads are still a little wobbly but they can still hold them up, but their backs aren't totally strong, you can set your baby in here and an advantage is if they have a little blowout where it goes up the back of the diaper right in between the little crevice in the backside, it goes right up and it collects it neatly right back in here and you throw the whole thing in the gar, I mean uh, in the wash, because they're nasty. <laughs> anyway, what Kayla? You were one of the ones who did it too. You know it's true. On the other side, you can see that this is prototype 5. So these little tiny casters are there. My guess is they're mostly there to help, help stabilize and to be able to sustain most of the weight. Then you have little tiny rollers or rubber rollers here connected to motors which will open up and look and see. And this looks like a charging port so we'll get going. So a few things as we get into it, you'll notice that right here is a short little LED strip. This is a big long rope. You can cut them at these little copper junctions so they just cut three out of them. You have the positive and ground. Then you have in your battery terminal, black and red. Power goes from here. Or first of all, this is the charger in, but then power goes from the red all the way over to here, supplies power there. All those wires go directly into here, so these are the power outs, so you can kind of see that um, some of the labels there are, are labeled power out. I have to use these things so I can actually point. So you have 3 volt out, 3.3 volt out looks like, you have LED control, anyway it's a custom circuit board specifically for this. Do you like that Caleb? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then on the out. So these are the power in coming from the battery, but then coming out of here is a, a green and a purple and a green and a purple. One for the left, one for the right motors. So to get a better view of these motors, I'm gonna lift it up a little bit and we'll see here, you have a regular DC motor and then right there is what's called a gearbox. Is it one motor or two motors? So this is one motor right here. This is another motor right here. So those are two different motors. But in front of that is not another motor. That's actually what's called a gearbox. So it takes a really fast speed and slows it down and turns it into really high power. So it can turn those, those wheels and make it so that this cute little girl can drive around in her, her car. Okay, so that's the basics of the design. Some of the things that are important here Obviously, you have your controls, which are basically your inputs. We'll talk about those sometimes in some of what we design, but you have basically a switch, on off, line being on, circle off, joystick forward, side, back side, whatever. Then you have, those are your two inputs. Then you have the LED as an output. You also have motors turning for output. So that's kind of the, the set here. Now our problem is to actually design something better than this. We want to see what we got here and take it from prototype 5 to prototype 6 maybe or just make it a little bit better. What are some of the things you like about this design, Kayla? Um, that it has big wheels and tiny wheels but 
the little girl might not be able to move on sidewalk or anything or on bumps. Why not? Sidewalk because the wheels are too tiny. What wheels? These these little tiny casters? Mm-hmm. So Caleb's saying that if something goes, let's say that she's driving along and she hits one of these things, what might happen, Caleb? That she might flip over. She might get stopped or whatever. Kind of like when you're going in a shopping cart and you've got something stuck in, between, in front of your wheel. Like, right? And that's the exact noise that it makes too, right? Okay. But these wheels seem like they would have an easy time going over stuff. So do you think that these little wheels, what would you do different? Probably change these wheels to probably like smaller wheels than this, but like this big. But pretty big ones? So this big being about two inches or so, what are some of the things you like about it? You like the, that it has wheels, the bigger wheels to drive. What do you like? What else do you like? I like it that it has the seat and it has just one controller, not tons of them. One big red joystick. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and set this down. Put it back together in just a minute. Let's get all those screws. Make sure they go back in there. All right. And we are going to go to the drawing board and actually draw.